So first I'm going to do some jump cuts and trim the midpoint of the action, you know, just to get the shot to look right. Then I'm going to rotoscope the trimmed footage and add the power point around it. Then click the Analyze button to process the background. Once it's done analyzing, click the Save button to confirm the removal. And now that the background is removed, I'll add an empty image footage of the background. Next I trim it and adjust the duration to get everything lined up. So now that everything is in place, I'm going to start compositing the footage by adding the explosion elements. Then I added the chroma key, and masked out the green background. And then adjust the timing of the explosion effect to make it look like it's actually happening. Next I'll place the explosion layer behind the rotoscoped footage. and adjust the size and position to make it look like it's coming from the right spot. And then, I'll add some glow effect to the explosion. Then I adjusted the glow settings to enhance the explosion look. Next I'm going to add some dust debris. So I'm going to align the dust debris with the explosion effect and then mask out the green background. So now let's adjust and blend it all together to make it look like it's all part of the same shot. I'll add the shape mask to get the edges looking right. So now I'm going to make some proper blending adjustments to the dust debris. First I duplicate the effect layer and then I'll compose the layer behind the explosion effect. And next I'll shape the edge of the first layer to get that realistic look. Next I'm going to add the adjustment layer. So we're going to be applying some special effects on the exact point of the action. So first, I'm going to start by adding the shake effect on the adjustment layer. Then I'm going to adjust the value of the shake effect. I then enable the tiling and the motion blur option. And next I'm also going to add the ripple effect to enhance the impact of the explosion effect. So as always, adjust the ripple amount and add some tweaks to the evolution option. 
Then, add some keyframes to it. And with that done, watch a playback. I'm not satisfied with the ripple result, so I'm going to add more intensity to increase the ripple wave distortion. Next, I'll add the prism glitch effect to enhance the overall visual look by adding keyframes from the start point of the explosion. I'm also going to add some keyframes to the talent scale to add more motion during the action. So now that I've got all the effects in place, I added an extra layer and applied some color corrections to enhance the visual look of the scene. So if you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Peace.